And I wanted to just remind the government that this is a difficult industry. There are, uh, on occasions, there are unsafe uh, workplaces. Um, and uh, just, just taking one site that I wanted to refer to, the Royal Adelaide Hospital construction site, uh, Jorge Castillo Rifo, 54, was crushed after be, uh, be, uh, when he was in a scissor lift uh, against concrete and sustained fatal head and neck injuries on the 27th of November 2014. I met his widow uh, two weeks ago and there's still no um, resolution to, an uh, to that inquiry. And I do want the government to use its, the powers and the agencies uh, of the Commonwealth to um, do better in preventing uh, deaths uh, in the building industry, but also, um, but also, of course, examining why they happen. Uh, on the same site, as, as recently as the 20th of February uh, this year, uh, Steve Wyatt, 63, died after being crushed between a scissor lift and a, and, and a head of a low doorway while supervising the fit-out inside the CBD um, sit-on Saturday afternoon. He was a highly respected electrical engineer who had 42 years' experience across the building industry. Uh, they're just two examples, the two deaths that happened on the same site uh, at the Royal Adelaide Hospital construction site. Now, I understand the government has its agenda about other matters, but I just say this. We do have, we spend millions of dollars resourcing Commonwealth agencies that oversight the building industry, but I am concerned that so little of those resources are put into preventing these tragic deaths. And I would ask the minister and the government to consider deploying the, the resources of the agency to prevent these deaths and, if they do occur, examining how we can ensure they don't happen again.